What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of LSPDFR. In today's episode, we are going to be with the San Andreas Highway Patrol, patrolling in this Ford Expedition. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I think we're going to be uh, probably just, uh, you know, running some radar here on Interstate 1 and seeing if we can get anyone uh, caught up, you know, going too fast. So, yeah, if it's your first time stopping by, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated. And let's begin this patrol right now. All right, that uh, gauntlet, it's going to be 650, was going 70 miles per hour. We're trying to catch up to that vehicle as we speak. I'm sure the one in front, directly in front of us is also going too fast. This, this looks like our gauntlet right here in front of us. Let's go ahead and have uh, dispatch run us the plate on this vehicle. Not pounder. You know what? Let's just go ahead and stop him. Target license plate. Eight five Tom William oh, Robert zero nine nine. Is that not always the case? This is the guy we want. Not the guy that was speeding. Jeez. All right. Let's go ahead and get him off to the side of the road here. Beautiful. That'll work. All right. Now we can probably try to try to do this. Dispatch, we're going to have you a plate here. It's going to be 04 Union Mary Jacob 650. Target license plate. Coming back on a black gold. 04 Union Sophie Mary Parker, John 650. No, no flags on the vehicle. So with no flags, we're going to go ahead and uh, approach him. And uh, without getting hit as best as we can. And Dixon has been heard. All right. Let's get out of there. Uh, hello, ma'am. Trooper Miller with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. reason why I'm stopping you today is uh, I got you going 70 miles per hour in a 60 mile per hour zone. Uh, so if I could just start with your driver's license, proof of insurance, and registration for the vehicle, that would be excellent. Uh, it should just be real quick. Give up. All right, Miss Parker, go ahead and hold tight for me. And uh, yeah, there's no real other questions. I'll be right back with you. I hope that they add a, a question of like, uh, you know, why were you speeding or something like that? That would be excellent. Sophie Parker, let's go ahead and toggle the back or the toggle pause. Sophie Parker. She has been stopped three times. Improper passing, unworthy, unworthy road vehicle, expired registration. Let's go ahead and run. She's 18 years old. And she's already had four tickets. She probably needs to sell that car that she's got because uh, she is definitely, I don't know, if, if she can't even not... Uh, Keep it under speeds with how many tickets she's been stopped, or every time she's been stopped, and re she really shouldn't be driving. You know, unless she doesn't mind getting tickets. I guess that's all right. All right, Miss Parker, uh, just go ahead and sign on the dotted line. It's not an omission of guilt. It's just saying you will take care of this ticket. Uh, obviously, you've been stopped before, so uh, you know how the drill goes. Uh, but other than that, you will be uh, free to go uh, as soon as I get back to my vehicle. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to write her a ticket. I mean, obviously she's not learning her lesson, so uh, we certainly don't want those type of people driving, especially in this much congestion. Uh, they should not be. Come on, people. You know what? I'm just gonna go up to the top and turn around. Uh, but yeah, they shouldn't really be driving that fast. You know, with that uh, that many cars. You know, so. Dispatch, you can go ahead and show us 10-8. Uh, we will be returning to patrol. We will be setting back up, uh, running some radar on route Interstate 1. Dispatch calling Unit 1, Lincoln 18. We have a possible robbery in Mirror Park. All right, Dispatch, show me responding to that call, Code 3. I'm going to try to just... Oh, you fucking messed up my ride! Lucky I got a ram bar. 
Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be responding to this robbery. I'm actually gonna respond, uh, I guess we will respond code three, only because of, uh, how far we are. We are, we are pretty far. But yeah, we have a gas station robbery or a, a liquor store or something like that. Some kind of robbery over here in the Mirror Park area. Looks like it's going to be the gas station. I don't know why it's telling me to turn right. The gas station's just right up here. I am going to downgrade the code 2 just so that we can kind of get as much element of surprise as we can. I'm going to pull in, try not to hit the pumps here. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and block off the entrance. That way we have some cover. Let's go ahead and get out a... Actually, let's get a yeah, car by. All right, sir, drop the weapon. Drop the weapon right now. Try to approach. Sir, drop that weapon. You moron. You're not even going to get a chance to do it. Do we have another person we do. That's not good. I did not know there was two people in there. Uh, dispatch, can you go ahead and roll us uh, paramedics to our location? We're going to have, uh, in, looks like to be four uh, people down. Park. We're going to go Officers ahead and clear the store. Civilian shot. We have multiple injuries. An ambulance requested yeah, we have from uh, Exile City. Down. Units respond code three. Not good. Let's, come on, grab his gun. You're not going to grab it? All right. He's not going to grab his gun, so can't worry about it. Let's go ahead and check the back. Everything's good back there. An ambulance in route responding code 3. Hopefully they're able to save everyone. Let's get out of their way. Work with me, damn it. He's going to jump across. There we go. So we're just going to block off the driveway here. That way it uh, kind of shows that... Uh, show that this is uh, closed up here. My sign skills are getting pretty good, I gotta say. I think so. Alright. That's good there. So yeah, we're pretty uh we're pretty locked down here. We just wanna make sure nobody uh, approaches. This is a crime scene now. So oh, looks Jesus, like, we lost them. Yeah, it looks like we have got uh, probably all four people are gonna be eleven forty four. Dispatch, can you roll ah, us a uh, coroner a out here? We have four suspects, no, two suspects and two victims that are going to be 1144 at this time. All units, code four. Yep, four of them. I can't pick up any of the money or anything like that. Hopefully the... Where are Coroners, man, they're no different than any other AI. They can't seem to find their way into these areas. And he's going to take out those signs if we don't remove them. But we can certainly remove them now uh, because our investigation's basically done. We're going to let the coroners uh, handle this. So let's go ahead. Ooh, let's get out of that. Attention, this is dispatch. We, we are code four. Yes, Before dispatch. Required. We are going to be 10-8 uh, available for calls, and that call will be code four. Uh, coroners will be there to wrap up the investigation. There. And yeah, we are going to be returning to patrol. Let's see what happens next. Oh, no. All right, we just had that. Uh, Serrano pass us at 73 miles per hour. We're going to be trying to catch up to that vehicle right now. going to turn off. They certainly are. And where can we stop this vehicle? 
I guess we'll just stop them right here on the on ramp. Or the uh, off ramp. But we are going to take the left side, not the right. Let's go up just a little farther. That way we're not in the bushes here. That'll work. Excellent. Dispatch, can you run us a plate on a gray in color Serrano? Plate is going to be... That is extremely hard to read in an SUV. 04 Zebra Young Boy 428. 04 Zebra Young Boy 428. That is correct. The inside of this car looks really good. Zebra Coming back is Reese Roger. No registration. Eight, Owner's license violation. is expired. A traffic violation. But, uh, Proceed with caution. Yeah, even the dash. That is what an expedition dash looks like. So that... Uh, pretty good so we're gonna approach the vehicle just no registration on the vehicle let's put the weapon away hello sir deputy miller with the san andreas highway patrol reason for the stop today is i got you going 73 oh in a 60 mile per hour zone if i could start with your driver's license proof of insurance and registration for the vehicle that would be excellent thank you mr roger and uh you know that your vehicle does not have valid registration. I didn't know that was something I had to do. All right. How about do you know that your license is expired? I thought you only had to renew the license if your appearance had changed. That's not it. And uh, how about have you taken any drugs in the past hours? My lawyer? No. All right. So what about do you have anything illegal in the vehicle? Depends, I guess. Well, sir, just... Uh, Hold tight right there. I'm just going to run your information, and I should be able to get you on your way. So, yeah, we're not going to be letting him go on his way without uh, doing a drugalizer. We did smell narcotics uh, when we approached the vehicle. He is in a convertible, so that's pretty, pretty simple to do. Let's go ahead and look this guy up. He's been expired for over a year. Just over a year, but over a year. I don't know how because uh, his DOB is 87 and licenses usually expire on your birthday. Let's go ahead and write him up. We're going to we're going to knock him with a little bit here. Um, we're going to be speeding. We're also going to get him for the expired license. So that'd be under I believe documentation. Let's see expired driver's license there it is and then he also has expired uh, vehicle registration where is it expired registration there we go so that's it for the tickets now we are still going to search them and uh have well not search them per se right now but uh, have them perform a drugalizer for us to make sure he's not under the influence of drugs or alcohol all right, uh, Mr. Roger, can you go ahead and blow into this device? I do smell narcotics in your vehicle. I want to make sure that you are not under the influence of anything. So you are coming back positive for, for uh, cannabis, so if you could please step out of the vehicle. Thank you very much, and Stop. Go, ahead and, go ahead and put your hands behind your back, sir. You are being placed under arrest at this time for being... Uh, under the influence of drugs while operating a motor vehicle. Do you have anything on you that can poke us or hurt us in any way, shape, or form before we put you into the back of our vehicle? We'll see what comes up. Car keys. Oh, so he's got really nothing on him. So just sit tight there. We'll be right there. So we're just going to search his vehicle, see if the narcotics are on him. We did smell the odor, but it could also just be on his clothes. A teddy bear, a hand knit scarf, a train ticket to Sandy Shores, and a phone book. There's a guy standing in the road right there. Looks like he has got a gun. That's not good. We should probably go do something about that. All right, a Bay Area bug shirt and an AK-47. Dispatch, can you roll us a tow truck out to our location? Interstate 1. We're going to try to get this guy uh, stopped. Without dying, hopefully. Sir, drop the weapon. Drop the weapon, sir, right Police, now. Stop whatever the hell drop you're doing. Drop the weapon 
right now. Can't believe we haven't been hit. Sir, go ahead and put your hands behind your back. You are being placed uh, under arrest at this time. Uh, and then you discharge the weapon. I'm going to disregard that. Uh, but you are being placed under arrest at this time for uh, carrying a weapon in public and aiming it. I'm going to presume at vehicles since you are on the highway. Um, it's not illegal to have a weapon out in public like that, but it is illegal to uh, do what you are doing. So go ahead and step into my vehicle. Do you have anything? Come on, get out of there. No, Don't be a no, dick. No, Just no. get in the car. You got to get on the other side. Yeah, he's actually smart enough to do that. Holy crap. That is surprising. That is very surprising. All right, sir, let's start with your name since I have no idea who you are. Julian Benjamin, 11 7 1970. He's coming back valid, no active warrants on him. So we have two arrest reports to do here, and uh, let's go ahead and calculate to the nearest. Ooh, man, two miles. I think if we just take this way, it'll be a little faster. Uh, but we're going to write up their arrest reports when we get back to the station. I'm going to respond code 2 to the... That's probably what he was hunting. Don't know why he would be on an expressway. But that's, uh, I guess, you know, his choice. He must have left his car somewhere or something. Not quite sure. We're going to go ahead and pass these people up. We're also going to take a little detour here. Instead of going all the way around, we're just going to cross the expressway. We are in an SUV today. I can certainly off-road it. Here we go. Yeah, see, this is working perfect. And before we take them in, wait a minute, wait a minute. I passed right by. Here, I'm just driving. So before we take them in, I am going to write an arrest report on these two. Uh, the one's actually already done. Uh, Mr. Roger is... Wait a minute. No. Julian Benjamin is who we need. Uh, Mr. Roger, his has already been done by the uh, LSPDFR. So, this is going to be... I don't even know what. Nonviolent crimes, I guess. Disturbing the peace. That's always a good one. And... Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, that'll work. Disturbing the peace... Um, and that was because of what he uh, was doing, Dr walking down the road with a shotgun. I presumed he was uh, walking down the road because he wanted to shoot somebody, not really why, you know, he, it looked like after we left that it was the uh, deer. Driving under the influence is what we're going to book him for and possession. No, oh, we actually don't have any possession on him. That's right. All righty. So let's log out of there. We're going to go ahead and drop them off. We're going to let uh, our fellow officers take them in. We do have two of them, so we're going to have to do this twice. All right. Hand them in. Excellent. So both of them are taken care of. Again, that other one, I mean, just happened to be we had a traffic stop not 100 foot from them. So uh, dispatch, you can go ahead and show us 10 7, 10 42. Guys, that's going to be the last call of the day. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you guys next episode.